Hey everyone, welcome back to the Road to the England Championship Series. I recently just returned from a 10 day trip from France for the Olympics, and I was very fortunate that I got to watch two weightlifting events the men's 73 kilo and the women's 71. And like, wow, what an incredible sight to witness. So here I am, returning to training and being inspired by champions. Today's training, we are starting out with some clean doubles, building up to 92 kilos. Nothing too difficult, but still a challenge. Then we move on to some clean pulls at 126. This is quite heavy, but I need to get used to pulling heavier since my clean is lacking at the moment. I seem to have lost some confidence to turn over and catch any clean that is 100 kilos or more. After this, we have some split jerks, and these are feeling pretty powerful today. Hitting 92 kilos for doubles, and then we finish up the main part of the workout, which is some pause front squats at 108 kilos. Over the last three months, my front squats have seen the most progression, which is really good news for my cleans, but I just have to commit to them. And finally, some accessories to finish up today's session. So we have some Bulgarian split squats, cable row, leg raises, and some wall handstands. Accessories have been something I've slacked off recently because as much as I wish I could be in the gym for longer, it's really hard to fit in more time during the same session especially because I usually spend 45 minutes to an hour in the evenings as well for mobility work. But after seeing some amazing performances of the Olympians, the least I can do is put in the time for accessories and that will really help me become a better athlete. When I started on this series, I was 70.9 kilograms and now I'm at 72.3. So that is actually quite light, especially you know, it's been 71. My competition weight is 73. So ideally I want to be about around 75 kilograms in some peak season training. That way I can lift heavier more consistently. It would be a little bit easier to lift those weights and having the energy levels required. So that is my goal right now to hit that. I say definitely over the last few months I've noticed a bit more of like less sort of muscle definition, being a little bit leaner, especially around sort of the pecs and the arms, the bicep area primarily because I don't train those, but I also haven't been doing much hypertrophy work entirely. So this is like one of the parts of the accessories I'm doing is focusing on building a bit more lean muscle and obviously the huge side to nutrition as well. So I usually don't track just for personal preference. Sometimes I do it with clients, but not really with myself. But since I started this challenge, I've been using my fitness pal to track my calories just to get a bit more of an idea of what I'm currently having and also just keeping a bit more accountable. I already find it difficult to put on weight and adding on muscle purely because I just burn so many calories naturally and even though I eat a lot, it's hard to find those extra calories and, and fit them into my schedule. But of course the training side, I do a lot of that anyway. Weightlifting training is two hour session pretty much each time, multiple days a week. And then I'm also doing one to two sessions of high intensity training at the moment. So I'm training for the battle cancer event coming up in September. And then purely the, the steps that I have, either at the gym or just walking around London, that also that burns all those calories as well. And then additionally, the cost of food of getting those calories in can be quite difficult. And obviously where I can, I try and, and do bulk buy and get the deals. But when you move your life across the world to London and then also starting a business at the same time, finances can be quite difficult. Sometimes I choose to eat a higher caloric and maybe unhealthy option just to get the calories. And I was doing that at first, but then just quickly realized just how much my energy levels plummet after consuming those foods. So I really try and keep that to a minimum or a last resort because otherwise it's just a shit in the process. On the MyFitnessPal app, I was setting my calories to 3000 calories a day, but I think that's probably a little bit too low based on my activity levels. So we'll see how we go. Um, we have obviously, as you saw the scale, to have increased that weight a little bit, although it's probably not the best sort of testing because I, I've just done it in the middle of the day as opposed to first thing in the morning. Um, but it is what it is, so we're just gonna just keep going through the process and see how far we get. By the way, if you wish to support my work, you may want to check out the Zero to One community. My favorite tea of theirs is the White Invincible Off, but I also like the University Blue Futurism. They've also just launched their new Drop Goat collection on their website. 
where they've got new colors in their hoodies. I'm not wearing one right now because it's hot here and, and summertime in London. But if you wish to check out any of their products, you can use the code CAM10 on checkout. And that way you can support my work, but also be part of a community full of passionate young achievers who are inspiring to achieve great things and just taking that first step in whatever project or venture they're in. One of the things that's actually helping a little bit with the calories is there's an app called Too Good To Go. And essentially it's like businesses who have um, throwaway goods that that's like best before that day and they can't really sell them. So they put them at a really cheap price. Um, so I got like two of these sandwiches for that three, that, that less than three and a half pounds, which is really good. I mean, it's like not, definitely not the best, um, but it's definitely a better alternative than buying cheap fast food for instance, and, or, or not eating at all. So that's been really helpful for me. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of the Europe in the Championship series. I wanted to quickly share my recent training videos as I finally achieved my first 90 kilo snatch, which I'm really proud of. And already I'm very close to hitting 92. Next time, we're going to do a full day of eating so you can see what that is like. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving this a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Also, if you want to see more update on what's happening in my life, you might want to check out my newsletter called Midweek Motivation, and I also have a podcast um, now available too. You can do so by hitting the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.